but the uh, existence in this the third world everything is based on the sacred number four there is not any one thing that is not based on four it is everything <laughs> One of the things that uh, we have in our medicine bundle and in our pockets or in our, on our person at all times is the corn pollen pa pouch. And uh, there's a lot of teachings in that associated with the, uh, the purpose and use of the corn pollen. And so it is that uh, it encompasses the story from our existence in the first world and in the second world and then here in the third world and everything in preparation for existence in the next world, which is the fourth world. But here in this world, when we arrive, we arrived as a spirit being and enter this physical form at the top of the head. And hit high is what we would say at the top of the head. But the uh, existence in this, the third world, everything is based on the sacred number four. There is not any one thing that is not based on four. It is everything. And if you were to actually uh, research it, you'll find there's only four basic race of people. There's only four basic personalities. There's only four basic blood types. And in your DNA, there's only four components or proteins to your DNA. Your four-chambered heart being, your heart pumps the blood, it circulates the blood, and it also is responsible for the respiratory, the uh, digestive, and the nervous system. And then your brain is four central lobes. We have 12 pairs of sensors in that that go to the, all of the extremities. And then you have 32 of them that go to your organs. And then your backbone contains at birth uh, 32 bones. And your uh, teeth, when you have your full set of teeth, there are 32 of those. So everything in our environment is based on the sacred number four. Even in uh, such thing as mathematics, you add, subtract, multiply, and divide. That's all you can do. In music, you only have four basic instruments of so the percussion, woodwind, brass, and string. And most music, of course, is four, four beat. Or the other thing about music is most people say there's eight notes, but I always, or seven notes, but I always say there's eight with a pause when you have to have a measure of music. But it is that there are eight notes, per se, in music and in the colors of the rainbow. There's, most people only see the seven, but we say there are eight. So it is in this world that everything is based on the sacred number four. And so it is that we have four sacred plants. The most important is the uh, corn or the maize. And from the corn we collect uh, the pollen. And we use it in a, as a prayer offering and as a symbol of all life. And we are taught that uh, the pollen that is um, in the plants is yellow. And so all vegetation comes from yellow pollen. And so it is, we are told that the same pollen also reproduces the insects. And also yellow pollen is, uh, is uh, what reproduces the, uh, the birds. So if you crack an egg, you know, that's about the largest example I can give you. Also animals and all of the different creatures and life forms come from yellow pollen. Even we that are the five-fingered being, we are told that we are also um, brought into existence by yellow pollen. So it is that this is a prayer offering. And the way we use it, and then we have it on our person, and uh, we have a collection of uh, corn pollen inside of here. And inside of the corn pollen pouch, you can have sacred stones that are the uh, uh, black jet, uh, turquoise, or shell, or abalone, and even um, a coral, a red coral. But it is that when we use this, we take a pinch of the uh, uh, corn pollen out of the pouch between the thumb and index finger and we put it right here at the top of our head where our spiral is, where our spirit entered. Then we put a little bit of it on our tongue. What's left between the thumb and the index finger we sprinkle to the direction east and that's called the yellow corn pollen path. Tadatim be'etin is what they say. And so it is that this is the yellow world and all life forms that are reproduced come from yellow pollen. And so it is a very sacred uh, prayer offering that we use 
in our prayers and in our various ceremonies the yellow corn pollen path existence. You can use the corn pollen to make your first prayer of the day or you can use the uh, white corn meal or the corn meal and uh, make your prayer offering. And so it is that any time at all in your life, whenever you think you need to offer a prayer and you want to make a prayer offering, you can use the yellow corn pollen path in your prayers. And that's what we are told. Yeah, that's how I began for you.